Okay, that was weird. Okay, well, I guess that's normal here. That was weirder than usual, though. And they anyway. Fuck. Anyway, all right. So somebody else is here. I'm not sure if they're going to add to that or what, or I don't know what that was. But anyway. All right. Greetings, all. We are the tall ones from Ashtar Command. There are many other beings here. There are a few ones. There are Zetas. You can call me Mitch. I like the name Mitch. Very simple. To us, it doesn't make any sense, but it does not matter. It is a name that doesn't make any sense, but that is your word that many like that name. As that being that came through, understand there's going to be more to follow. Not necessarily in that situation, but to give you more of an idea of your alien connections. This is the best we can do as for channeling connections. We can't necessarily show you the beings Eventually, you will be able to see them and hear them and know them. Yes, all these things are going to come to you as you become more aware. Not necessarily be all like that. Of course not. But to give you a more rounder perspective of your alien connections. This is just something that is going to continue on throughout your, as you grow into more of a galactic being, as some will call it, whatever you want to name it. That yes, these connections are not going anywhere. They're just increasing. They become more complicated and more intriguing to many of you as you go into more of a galactic state. Your spirit connects to all of this. You are of energy. You are all of, of light. You are infinite. And it is not known in your society because it is of material possessions that own you. You, well, of course, you think you own them. As the spell on your society eventually comes to an end, as for the control on your society, understand this is just going to become the, the beginning of more channeling that are unique to our alien perspective. As for becoming more real to what we go through and what we see, what you are not to see. But those days are coming to an end. It will, the line will get thinner and thinner. Yes, this is just a small portion of it. You will see the light and you will see the dark. The dark does get many attention, but the light is, yes, of course, we have mentioned it many times. And the light is where we want you to go, of course, or wherever you want to go. It's just for you to see all things and to know more about your aliens. Many wish to know more. How is he going to know it? And unless we tell it to you, in a way that is truthful to us and something we feel that you need to see. Some might not connect to it and go back to your old ways, which is fine, but I do see a galactic maturity coming to many of you eventually. As some do see this is over the top and then maybe not for you, well, that is fine. 
But for those that are ready, more is to come. And it's just it's pure honesty of what is going on in your universe. That is all. Many will call this unbelievable, yes, whatever they're going to name it, which is fine. It tells you what level they are at. That is all. It's no big deal. It's not, we are not naming anyone or putting you down or anything like that. It's just where you, it's just fine. It's, you don't have to need it in your energy space, and which is fine. But many do want to know more of your galactic connections. Now, how are you going to get to that if we just give you a small portion? So we are now becoming more, now understand, now you're becoming more aware of what we speak about all the time in our galactic alien meetings. But it is very fragile what we bring into your society. You are aware of this, I believe. As more becomes more told to you or channeled to you, but it is up to you to whatever you feel like to connect with, which is fine. But still more to come, yes. Especially when you get to become more knowledgeable of your Mars, what's happening there, which is not being fully told, which is has its reasons. But as for what's going on your planet, is much manipulation and control constantly going on. As you connect to the higher realms, it becomes more difficult to uh, believe what you are hearing. We believe that is quite common on your planet and quite understandable. As we are called, yes, insane, but... The truth is become is going to become out there. It's up to you to make the choice if you want to believe it or not. That's up to you. We are not. We are not here to say what. It is up to you, of your choice. Understand these messages. There are for those of the, your all of all timelines. One moment. But what is coming into your environment is yes, the truth, but also a reflection. As many of you become more aware of your astral selves, because that line will eventually thin out. We, those that are aware of your astral selves will become more. Yes, you realize that many are asking, what am I doing astral because I cannot connect? Well, those days are coming to an end, but you will be eventually connected. More. This isn't happening tomorrow, but it is coming. It won't happen tomorrow. But it, you are getting closer to it. Yes, we realize those, our version, your version. When we say it's getting closer, possibly a couple of years from now. I know. We're doing the best we can with your planet. But, we, but remember, for certain individuals, they'll have it sooner than others. Some might have it tomorrow. Some might have it five years from now. We can't go into guarantees of that. But we can say your astral selves are becoming more clear as you become aware, as you become ready to receive this information also. And those that aren't, yes, call this all, whatever they want to label it as, because your world is very good at labeling things, let them say what they're going to say. It is fine. But those that are awakened spiritually can make decisions on their own. And we'll see that what we are doing and other beings are doing it. It's just not here. It's all over the place. It's just one place where we can see it. <laughs> but understand that this information of your galactic connections, your spiritual connections. Yes, you can say it's like a dark tunnel, but now it's filling with light. And that tunnel will get bigger and bigger and fill with light. So right now you'll see a little perspective, and then it will get larger. Everybody's thinking you're crazy, but that is fine. What? For you, you don't know what's real. What is real to you? What is your reality? Remember, your reality is different from everyone else's. But you're connecting to your higher self. You're going on this direction on your own. Yes, we're giving this message here. But it'll be duplicated in other places. Others will receive it eventually when they're ready. These times are coming, yes, of knowledge of you. You that you want to know will come through, yes. Some might see, yes. Some might see themselves as a bunny rabbit, yes, I know, craziness. But it is true. Many of you have had lifetimes on this, on, well, some on this world, 
Uh, not all, but some have. In your animal kingdom, yes. I believe you know who you are. If you do not know, you'd be surprised. Even if it's not connected to it, it's okay. But many of have, not all of you have had animal-like incarnations somewhere in your universe. That was the common incarnation. And then humans showed up and changed everything. And your humans have made it very difficult to connect more to your animal kingdoms. Because you figured, oh, it's just human and that's all it is. And if you see an alien that comes down to your planet with two heads and you get very, very scared. Some of you, not all of you. Yes, it's propaganda on your world. Oh, yes, it is. And it's keeping your planet in. It's keeping it cozy, isn't it? <laughs> That coziness eventually will open up. Not to say it will be chaotic, but yes, many will become world more aware of your surroundings, how connected you are with nature. And yes, the spiritual connections will help. Because your connection right now is very materialistic. We do not have VCRs and things of that stuff to sell you. and We do not do those things. You understand where I'm going with this. We just have spiritual love. We do, not, we do not come around with advertisements and like what you're used to on your planet. We do not do those things. So yes, us arriving, just saying hello, may be difficult for humans to connect you if we're not selling something. That's a joke. I hope that it was received well. <laughs> but you understand it's difficult to connect to your planet. If we are traveling salesmen with fancy gear, yes, we'd be accepted more by your planet. But that is not how we operate. It is not a way we want to that is not how, it's not a, it is not a proper way to connect to humans. Uh, not that we see, no. No, it would not be a good idea. It is quite humorous, but not a good idea. Because you're trying to be serious with your humanity. And to be serious with it, it is for you to be ready to connect to us, but you're not. Some of you, oh yes, you are very ready. It's very difficult, but that is a part of your test. As you become more aware of your actual selves, you will know more, see more. But yes, it will be difficult, but realizing having much knowledge is very difficult. And most of your planet does not have this knowledge. And they still have a different type of difficulty. I understand if they knew what you knew, it become a lot more difficult. And this is why it's not happening at this time. But that can always change. You can always change your timelines. Always. Always change it. So the future is never set. Never. But we can tell you this, that this, our connections with you is going to be more animated. <laughs> That's all we can say. At least through this channel. We've been working on us. One moment. That's all we have. Take care of yourselves. Be careful on Black Friday. Be more loving to each other, please. Or, well, that's our suggestion at least. Blessings to you. Thank <laughs> you.